Hey guys, welcome back to Retrocidal's game channel. This is Retrocidal coming back at you with some more LSPDFR Retro Patrols. We're going to be going out for one final patrol of this pack and then I'll be switching everything back and trying a couple of vehicles that uh, another subscriber had uh, shown me in the comments and links and I'll be getting into those ones. Hopefully it seems like they would be pretty cool vehicles to try to get to work and uh, yeah, take it from there and then hopefully maybe find a different siren throw a different siren and this one's pretty good but i like to you know mix up the sirens a little bit so let's get out on uh patrol our final patrol of this pack i'll miss this pack it was one of the few um els retro packs that had els in them and of course because it has els it has els so maybe that would mean that would have els since it's an els pack right els anyways uh, some of them, a lot of uh, the mods aren't ELS, so that's what I liked about this one. Had a good working ELS lights. So. Alright, so what's going on back here? Something's on going down back there. Oh, I think this guy just stole this car. I saw somebody, lady, boy, man. guys out at gunpoint here. I'm like heavy armed uh, unit. Oh my god, what's going on? Police! Stop whatever the hell you're doing! The frisky one, isn't it? On the ground, sir. I saw you break into this car, dude. So I'm doing like a heavier up I have a machine gun. Uh, I know this um doesn't exactly match, but I don't have another way. We got his gun. Oh, well, I, I I changed the file from my like wardrobe thing, so it kind of made it to this, which it looks cool, but it doesn't fit the old school as well. But whatever. Um, what is it? Is it we. See, let's double check the plate real quick, make sure it's stolen. But I'm pretty sure she's a stolen. Hopefully everybody's having a good week out there, good you know work week or school week or whatever kind of week you're six, doing. Six, Ida, Union, Robert, eight, six, two, a possible stolen vehicle. Proceed with caution. Damn. All right, so you're gonna be going down for uh, Grand Theft Auto. Why is this car parked like this? Let's check the plate on this car too. Make sure he didn't steal two vehicles here. Like, we'll park it all on the side for him. I think he got out and ran because this guy was still in that car and then ran into him or something, I think. Should have come back for his vehicle, hopefully. We'll tow this away since it's been involved with an accident. Accidento. Still want to get my other channel going, which is going to be like I say, like mostly action movies. I'm not sure what to call it though. I don't know if I should call it like a, you know, like a, maybe like a, um, I don't know, like retro guns or potato retro. I'm not sure. Potato guns was one of the thing I want to call it, but I don't know. I already made some artwork. Well some stuff for the beat channel but I'm not sure exactly but it's just gonna be about you know anything to do with guns and it's gonna be a game like you know maybe I can put armor stuff on there too and other things that don't do well on this channel this is like I say mostly was um, role play and then GTA 4 GTA 5 and some arma but the arma stuff didn't go as best as I wish and I got a suspicious person here, so we're gonna answer that code three, so people move out of our way. This ain't happening. No way. Uh, 
slow down for the red light. Make sure we don't get in an accident. Don't want to drive too reckless, right? <laughs> so yeah, thanks for a few people checking my channel out. And, uh, be moving to some different old school vehicles, so this is not just going to be this pack only. And I might mix a couple of newer packs here and there with it because I like a lot of the newer cars too. So maybe I'll just kind of switch once in a while when it's, uh, you know, kind of getting stale with the old ones. I'll just put a new pack in there for a little bit or a new car. If there is one I want to really want to use. It's a Mercury Marauder uh, 2009 or 11. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, I can't wait to use that one actually. So first I'm going to use um, a couple that I told this guy that's um, sub to me that I'd use. Which is like the CJ9 I think. Undercover. Uh, FBI car. Something like that. So. And then I was going to see if I could use the command post if I could get it to work. But I don't know what to... Well, I don't know what I could use it for exactly. You know, like There's not exactly callouts made for that kind of situation. here and we got a trespasser on the supposed had a flashlight I'll we'll talk to him real quick oh whoa don't punch the air dude sir stop right there stop right there sir wait up uh yeah I know that's why they called me because you uh aren't supposed to be here stupid pig Oh, that's not very nice. Do you have any ID on you, sir? Let's go ahead and check his ID real quick. I got a flashlight too, buddy. <laughs> I got a flashlight too, see? Flashlight. Okay, so... Uh, let's see, question him. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna pat him down. I'm gonna see if he'll leave the area. Canvas, some bag of cannon. Go on. Fuck. Maybe he leaves. Well, I escort him off the track and then. Yeah, it's me. No, dog. Me. Yeah. We blazing that real strong. We need to meet. Uh, updated this mod called Backup. I never hey, tried it yet, actually. I should later. try it if I, I can get a chance. This guy gets out of here. Nah. You know what I like? It better be right this time. Seems they're like going to leave, but I don't know if they will. Yeah, dog. Do the knock. Attention. All right, we're good to go. He's gonna. He's heading off. He doesn't have anything illegal on. A little bit of weed. I'm not worried about that. We we'll get another call out. We'll arrest him for trespassing. Usually they give you at least you know a warning when you trespass, unless it's like a government building or something. But you know usually you get a warning saying leave the area, blah blah blah. See if you're back, blah blah blah. So one good thing that maybe happened is I mean me moving over to dispatch at work, which would give me uh, like an actual restroom and a place to sit. I don't know. I just I think I would like it better, and I would be out in the cold now that winter's coming around. I don't want to be out in the cold. My my broken back in winter doesn't work good together, and then. You have to really, like use your car all night long to stop and start and stop and start for like all night long to keep warm and uh, I can actually have a restroom so that'd be awesome man I miss having a restroom and I don't have to put up with all the crap over there like I've been doing that for like four years so maybe it's time for a break because it's kind of getting me nervous last time there was a really cool fog in I don't know I put it on Twitter and uh, it rolled in and if you want to go on my Twitter and check it out and I had a fog and then right after I made that video it was talking about like how it felt like it was Daisy or like The Walking Dead, you know, or something like that. 
not even like a 10 seconds after that, two gunshots. I couldn't see 10 feet in front of me. And so I was just like kind of freaked out. I had my gun out because it was really close. And I could hear some people screaming, you know, about the N-word this and N-word that. And just, you know, not... Oh, wow, this guy's running around with a gun. Oh, man! So I dropped the weapon LSPD. right now. Don't make me shoot ya. Drop that weapon right now, sir. Let's pick up that weapon. Hands shaking. Narcotic intoxication. I said, well, I stopped you because you're running around with your gun out and uh, you appear to be high on drugs, so. Okay, he doesn't have anything legal on him, blah, blah, blah. Has no gun permit. Feel like expired. License expired, and I took warrants. Right, we're gonna just take him down for. Uh, we didn't have a license at all, so. Though I don't know if uh, Los Santos is open carry, but he can't be running around with it in his hand. Like improper display of a firearm, possibly high on drugs at the same time. Could turn into something more serious later, but whatever. Fucker! I guess he is. This guy got my attention here. He was just driving through that little road kind of fast. We're just going to check his plate real quick. So yeah, hopefully that'll work out. I'll make a little more money. Two, two, Mary, so, Victor, Paul, three, four, four, no 1099. No 1099s. So that might work out better. All units, citizens report. Speeding on Vinewood Park Drive. Suspect is driving a black Bravado muscle car. Alright, we're looking for a uh, speeding vehicle. Uh, we're gonna find this Bravado, black Bravado muscle car. Yeah, I think he's going towards the. Uh, He's either going up that dirt road or he's going down the highway. Vehicle blasting, heading northbound on Los Santos Freeway. Yeah, he's on the freeway. We should have called the highway patrol for that. Vehicle blasting, heading northbound on Los Santos Freeway. There's a unit right here and he didn't even go after him. I think he could have gone up this way, hopefully not. Oh. Nope, nope. I thought you, the way the dots were, I thought maybe he went up that way, but whatever. So hopefully I can get this, work this job, and then I'm going to buy a laptop so I can have something to do uh, while I'm not, you know, doing stuff and then work on things, I don't know. Uh, I was just going to get a cheap Acer Aspire or Nitro or something like that. It comes with a 1050 Ti. Uh, 256 gig uh, SSD SATA, which is not very big. Um, but 1080p and you know, it seems like it seems like a pretty for the money. It seems pretty good. Damn, where the hell is this guy going? I'm going with the lights off. Let's try to catch up. Damn it. Heading southbound on Palomino Freeway. No, that's not him. It's another chase. I think I was catching up to this guy too. Uh, 
Fahrrad. Damn it. How the fuck how the fuck did that happen? Vehicle block heading northbound on Palomino Freeway. Oh, fucking fuck. Oh my god. I kinda wanna call it off. We're gonna call it off. We're calling off that call. Suspicious, dangerous driving, maybe it's the same guy, we'll go check it out. But yeah, so hopefully I, I was gonna go buy that maybe today. I was just trying to make a video and then Gotta go cash my check, and then I gotta figure out if I have enough money to do it. It's still $750, which is pretty good for a laptop. And then other than that, it goes up to like a thousand. But laptops, once you buy them, that's what you get for a while. You know, there's no upgrading video cards or anything like that. It's hard to get over here, isn't it? Okay, let's try and find this guy here. It's dangerous driving. It's up here somewhere. Oh no, it's a motorcycle. Whoa, it's going up the wrong way. Alright, we're going up the wrong way. Dispatch, he's getting pretty dangerous. He's back on the right way. He's pretty dangerous, I'm about to take him down. Let's see if I can get him to lose control. No luck, no luck. The okay, speeds are about a hundred. So yeah, hopefully everything will work out. Maybe I'll make a little money. Uh, hopefully I'm not, my teeth are still not doing that good. They're infected. My whole face is infected, it feels like. So I don't know, hopefully I can get this. You know, I need to see Dennis. I need to get the money together for that. Uh, my next dentist appointment is still not for a little while, so nothing I can do about that right now. Try to slow him down there a little bit. He's not stopping for us. See if I can get this to work. We're gonna have to try something here. No, it was not in the right spot there. And that spike strip of a bike or what's going on here? Okay, so won't let me pike spruce that. Okay, let's try and get in front of him, slow him down. Jesus. Finally got him. Driver of the motorcycle, get your hands up, you're under arrest. Stop! Police! Shit, we gotta slow down traffic or we're gonna get killed there. Slow traffic down for me to be just dispatch. Alright, well this is kind of a crazy patrol chase here and 
chasing people around. <laughs> Gonna get this thing towed out of the out of the road. Uh, so I can make videos, but they won't be as high quality as like as my home system. But I'm also be working like almost full time, I think. So hoping that they can keep it under 38 hours, just uh, for you know other reasons. But anyways, so maybe I'll make some more money, and I won't have to hassle this winter being cold and freezing and people shooting guns around me all the time. I mean, it's like every couple of weeks, people are just shooting guns and shooting guns. It gets a little nerve wracking after a while, you know. It really does, especially when it's so close. You know, it's just. Um, nerve-wracking so and I don't have to worry about all the bullshit just do some stuff take some calls do a little bit of paperwork and I should be able to do it so new desktop computer how'd you fit a desktop computer in your pants all right let's get him transferred out of here. Assistance needed. A suspect placed under arrest and yeah I know sir you shouldn't have ran from us but uh, how far is that uh, Roger. Trying to figure out how far that is. Security guard asking for backup. We're going to go ahead and ask him. We're going to go ahead and do this. They should be able to pick him up. Get through these barriers. Let's answer the security guard. And uh, I don't know, the laptop thing, I don't know if I should wait and then uh, save up more money. And there's another one, but it's 950. It has a 1060, 256 uh, SATA, uh, and a one terabyte hard drive. So, but I don't even know if it's a 7200 RPM or not, because it really has to, to do videos and stuff like that. You have to have 7200 RPM. That guy just about got grand. And so, um, I don't know. I might just buy the 10, look, it's a 1050 Ti with the four gigabyte RAM. So it should be pretty decent enough. I just don't know how well it's gonna play games. Like, am I gonna be able to play like, you know, Black Ops and like, call, you know, Fortnite and different games like that that I wanna play? I don't know. The security guard needs the help right in the back of the police station. <laughs> oh, he's at the hospital. We actually do stuff like this too. On scene. What's he doing? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, shit, this guy's opening fire. Okay, I think everybody's down. Everybody's down. Let's get the EMS rolling out here. Attention all units. Medical aid requested in Sandy Shores. Officers report a civilian shot. We have multiple right, injuries. It's a good thing we have the security guard out because he just about got ambushed Sandy here by Shores, three guys. He had some kind of grievance with the hospital here. I don't know what happened. So hopefully things will work out, I'll be a little more calmer and not so worked up and stuff like just a little more working hours, but we'll see how it works. I gotta figure out what time it is, like what time to what time. It'd be nice if it started slightly earlier and ended a little earlier, so I'm not so staying up till five in the morning, but I don't know, it might be till five in the morning. Ugh, could be worse. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, make sure we get Oh Jesus, we lost them! That's fine. All these guys are, are deadbeats, literally. Ah, oh, not again! No! And I'll be happy not to have used my spend so much money on gas, you know. Well, I still use gas to get to the office, but I mean, I just won't have to start the car, move it, patrol so around every close. night, start, stop, stop, start. So it's a little easier on my vehicles. Get a corner out here. We are going to slow down traffic while we get the corner out here. 
And that guy, that was reminding me like some guy was calling to the hospital, like threatening them or something. Kind of like this, but you know, if they actually not like the game, they didn't do anything. But people do that call and threatening business is a pretty common thing. But yeah, I'll just be doing dispatch. Like somebody calls us, like, hey, we got an alarm, blah, blah, blah. And I can get the laptop so I don't go crazy. And I think they got internet there so I can use their internet. I don't have to worry about using my phone internet. And, uh, should be relaxing and hopefully do that for the winter. And then, uh, after the winter, I told him I could do, like, the, the site again during the summertime. But we'll see what happens. But, yeah, so hopefully I'll make a little more money. I should get a raise, so... That job comes with a raise, so hopefully that'll work out, that position, and I'll do good and make a little more money. Hopefully my, my, you know, my health holds up, and I've been getting really sharp pains in my stomach, and then I've also been bleeding again a little bit, and uh, it's not feeling that good, so I don't know, and then my back, you know, is messed up, so, um, I don't know, hopefully everything hangs in there, uh, but I don't know, maybe, sometimes it seems like I'm kind of like, maybe might be dying, I don't know. Just like there's so much stuff that's going on with my uh, body and like uh, I do feel a little better since I got that bacteria infection tank here but like my teeth hurt so much my back everything is just kind of just kind of running on pain really so much pain so much pain all right well, I'm gonna go into the station here talk to them about what just happened um, at the uh, at the hospital medical center here, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the patrol. Just kind of bla blabbed on, you know. And, uh, beer. I hear that. Yeah, I could use like ten beers myself. And uh, we're gonna go in here and just do a little paperwork and uh, fill out some stuff. So, anyways, everybody take care. Hopefully enjoyed the patrol. Thanks for your support, and uh, hopefully I get to see. Uh, some more people join in, maybe some more subscribers, all that good stuff, and hopefully do this and maybe work on my other channel. Hopefully I have enough time to try to do it. The other next two days, I got my dad's got doctor's appointments, so I got to take him. Oh, no, Wednesday and Friday, he's got doctor's appointments. Today, he's at dialysis, and then Thursday, he goes to dialysis, so it kind of sucks for, you know, a lot of stuff for him to do. So hopefully, you know, he'll have the strength to, you know, make it through everything because it's, you know, you know, some days he doesn't look so good. And, you know, like I say, he's got cancer and he's got the felt kidneys and some days he looks better, but some days, like yesterday, he didn't look that good, so... I don't know, it just makes everything harder and my stress is really high and my time. Just everything's really difficult right now for me. Um, you know, and I don't know, wish me the best. I, if anybody else is struggling, has sick kids or parents or whatever, you know, I wish you the best. And, uh, and that's kind of where I'm standing. I just, you know, wish I, I wish I was like a god. I would help everybody out. Anyways, take care. See you guys in the next patrol. Bye. Have a good one.